Hey everybody, this is Juice from Juice's Arthropods, and this is my how-to breeding video for tarantulas. Uh, first and foremost, before we get into it, that cage is not its permanent home. I need to address that. Neither one of these is their permanent home. The female in this is a curly hair, Toledocaudal alba pelosis. Uh, this is a male that you're seeing here. Now, I want to address something, the way you see him acting. Um... I kind of put him at a disadvantage. I like to put my two cages si side by side so they can do this, as you can see here. He's climbing into the female's cage. Uh, but they're not very good at looking down, so just know that they might need a little bit of assistance. So when you are breeding, you're going to need a 32-ounce uh, deli cup, a giant paintbrush, and you need to make sure that before anything else happens, your male taps. This is very important. So what the male tarantula will do is they will take their pedipalps and they will actually drum them on a surface. Now, he walked into this. I had visualization of where the female was, so I wasn't too worried about him getting immediately eaten. Um, the females are bigger than the males. You see right there. Uh, in fact, we will. you'll see it one more time and we will circle it the next time. You can see his pedipalps. He begins to drum on, there you go, right there on the coconut the fake coconut that we have there. And this is their way of telling the female, hey girl, I'm just a, I'm your boo. You know, just uh, let them know that I'm not something that's trying to eat you and I'm, I'm ready for some loving. So you will immediately notice the body of the males are much smaller. They got a little bit longer legs, but the females are very, very, very big. So with your 32 ounce deli cup, this is specifically to capture the tarantula if anything happens. This is sped up, by the way. You'll see when it slows back down. Um, 32 ounces, just a catch cup. The paintbrush is in case in this. Now, in this video, the female was very good, very um, non aggressive to him. And in fact, he shoves her into a bush later, but I apologize. The. Uh, the video actually cuts out before the where he shoves her into a bush, and then I have to... She bolts just immediately into the coconut, so that's the part you won't see. Now, this is... When you're breeding these guys, you want to make sure that they're tapping back and forth. You'll see the female is tapping. This is consent. Yes, tarantulas do require consent. If she wasn't consenting, she would have just eaten them right now. She wouldn't even bother with all the tapping. Now... In this particular scenario, I was a little bit nervous because she can't see him. She's tapping. She knows where he's at because he's tapping back. But you'll notice he keep he like brushes her abdomen like ever so gently with his legs. That made me a little nervous because if you've ever tapped a tarantula on the butt that didn't know you were there, they uh, immediately turn around. And I was a little bit worried. Anyways, as long as your tarantulas, when you're pairing them, are doing this, you're good to go. They are, they're doing exactly what they need to do. What he's going to do next is he's going to, uh, with his, he's got hooks on his forelimbs. He's actually going to push those hooks up and catch her fangs with them. And then he's going to take his palpal bulbs and bully and he's going to deposit the sperm into her. I actually don't know what the name of it is. Her uh, ventral opening. I, I'm sorry. I don't actually remember what it's called. Um, but this is a very relaxed version of mating it gets a little bit more chaotic with some of the old world species and, and i've had it where i've had to save uh, my grandma stole a poker piece i had to save the male twice because he just kept forgetting to freaking tap as long as your male is tapping as long as he doesn't just yeet himself into her cage right at the opening and he's not you know gesticulating that he's there or doing any of the receptive uh, pieces you know, as long as they're doing that, you'll be totally fine. I'm going to shut up here for a couple seconds and just allow you to see just that sweet, sweet loving. See, she turns around, they start tapping each other, and now he's got to get in position. And now let the love begin. Doing voiceovers is really weird while tarantulas are breeding. See, you can see right there. See where you see him tapping? I'm going to circle it right here. You can see he's using his pedipalps and emboli, and he's putting it right in that pocket. And then he shoves her into a bush. The real true romantic he is. Just knocks her over completely on her back. And then you're going to see here it's going to have an awkward cut, like I said, because it uh, the, just the filming was weird. He you know, just shoves her in that bush. He's doing this because otherwise she'd eat him. And he's safe. He got out of their life. I hope this video helps you. It's really that easy. Have a great day.